everyone, I'm Hannah and welcome to my monthly thrift haul video where I'm going to show you everything I thrifted in the month of March. I almost said long time no see, but actually I just saw you guys last week because I filmed a very special live thrift haul video for my birthday. If you watched that, some of this stuff is going to be familiar to you, but I promise there's a whole bunch of new stuff and there's going to be clothes, which I did not show last week, so let's dig in. <laughs> I did really good scoring music stuff, so I'm gonna start with that. The first thing that I found is Billy Joel Street Life Serenade, which I can't actually take credit for finding. Um, I was shopping with my mom and she actually found it before me and she got really excited and she said I had to get it. Which I did, because I don't have this one. It's not his first one, but it's definitely one of the earlier ones from 1974. Look at that, it was $1.09. Then I picked up some CDs to listen to. The first is Taylor Dane, Tell It To My Heart, which I don't really know much about Taylor Dane, but I knew a few of the songs on the back, so I thought I'd take a chance on it. If you're also curious about who she is, maybe you don't listen to as much 80s music as me, um, you might know a few of the songs, Tell It To My Heart, Don't Rush Me, I'll Always Love You, you know, look those up on your uh, Spotify apps and stuff. <laughs> and that's who Taylor Dane is. The next one is Aerosmith Big Ones, and I hope you've heard of Aerosmith. <laughs> and this is just basically a best of album. And then another best of album, I got The Cars Greatest Hits. And if you think you don't know who The Cars are, you probably do. You've heard their music, you just didn't realize it. They're a classic. And last for CDs is Debbie Gibson's Electric Youth, which is like my favorite Debbie Gibson album. And up until this point, I've only had it on cassette, so I'm really excited to have it on CD in case my cassette wears out. <laughs> 80s girl problems. Then next for music, I did something new. I actually shopped through records, like albums, like, you know, vinyl. <laughs> it's kind of my least favorite form of music to have to shop for, but I like listening to vinyl, but I don't own a lot. It's like this whole catch-22. So I sucked it up and I actually tried looking this month and I found Foreigner and John Cougar Mellencamp. Look at that faith! <laughs> Moving from music to still somehow music related things. Um, I got the Rod Stewart concert video Backstage Access on VHS. So it's still basically music. This says it's his sold out 1984 world tour. Figure I'm never gonna make it to one of the concert dates with Rod Stewart and Cyndi Lauper because they're touring together and they're kind of like best friends. So this is like the next best thing, right? And then the other movie I got is Desperately Seeking Susan, which I do own and I love. Um, I only got this one because the case, the outer shell, was a lot better than mine. Although it looks like someone got candle wax on it. Side note, I would highly recommend watching this movie if you've never seen it. It has like the best 80s fashion. I say that about like every movie. <laughs> but it's true. Okay, then we got... We. It's me. It's my stuff. <laughs> um, okay. This, which is like the coolest paper lantern ever. It has ice cream cones all over it. And it was just under a dollar. It was 90 cents. It's just too cool. Yes, that's an ice cream pun. <laughs> then I found this bag of like paper paraphernalia and you had to buy it all together. It's such a pet peeve of mine. Like I only want one thing. <laughs> so the thing I didn't really want are these gold letter stickers. Um, they're just the lame letters of the alphabet, like T-U-V-W-X. What am I gonna do with those? What I was in it for was the paper. So this one on the left is this beautiful blue paper with these colorful rainbows on them. And the other one has such a huge nostalgic factor for me. So it's these little rainbow shapes. And there's a heart, there's a butterfly, there's a leaf, and an apple. Because it looks just like the MAC logo. I know it's a weird thing to be excited about something that looks like the old MAC logo, but I actually have an old MAC from the 90s, and I spent seven years of my life making a YouTube show starring that old MAC. So seeing it just gives me the feels. <laughs> I happened to find some magazines, so I got two issues of InStyle magazine, and these are actually really brand new. This one's March, and this one's April. Apparently my subscription ran out, so I happened to find these at a used bookstore for 10 cents a piece. Can't wait to tear into these. Okay, and then I found two Barbie things. I feel like I should just like make a permanent segment in my thrift haul. Like, things I thrifted that are Barbie this month. <laughs> the first is this giant coloring book from 1980 something. Some kid, I'm guessing very young, already got to it. But only a few pages, for the most part it's pretty clean. I'm concerned why Barbie is packing oil in her purse. What is she up to? 
And next in Barbie related merchandise, I got a Barbie puzzle featuring the Hollywood series, which my sister and I, we had the two in the middle, the Barbie and the Ken. Um, I don't really know who the other two are. I never had them. I wasn't cool enough apparently. So this was about 50 cents and I already put it together and all the pieces are there for 50 cents. That is one heck of a steal. The next segment of my thrift haul is clothes. So one or two of you left a comment on my live thrift haul saying that you missed my lookbooks and unfortunately I am not going to be filming any lookbooks in the foreseeable future. So for this next segment of my thrift haul, which is clothes, I'm kind of bringing you a little bit of lookbook. Normally I just like put the clothes on, model them, take a photo, that's it. But this time I decided to actually like style the clothes. So this is going to be like really good outfit inspiration. If you're curious why I'm not going to make a lookbook, I actually wrote about it on my Patreon page. It's a public post so anyone can go and read it. It's just something that I don't want to talk about all over the internet. But if you'd like, you can go and learn a little more about what's been happening in my life the last six months. But before you go, let's look at clothes. First, we have to talk about this sweater that I wore and I was so excited about that I'm actually wearing it before it's been washed. <laughs> I, I posted on my Instagram story about it and it was met with mixed reviews. Some of you do wear your clothes before they've been washed, like depending on what it is, and others thought it was gross. For me, it's about does it smell? Is there any visible stains? What store did it come from? Like this particular store, it came from a Goodwill and I trust the Goodwill. I've never had any issues or bed bugs, but I am aware that those kind of things can happen, which is why I do normally wash my clothes before I wear them, but I was just really excited about this sweater. <laughs> Please meet the sweatshirt I'm going to be living in for the rest of my life. Probably not really, but it's just so soft and it's made with like that worn inness. But I got this for $1.50. It's American Eagle brand and they call it a jegging sweatshirt. And I have no idea what that means because this doesn't feel like jeggings. I don't know if you're supposed to wear it with jeggings. How do they know that I own jeggings? Do I just look like the kind of person that would wear jeggings and I need this sweatshirt to complete my jeggings? But yeah, I'm probably gonna wear it with jeggings. The next clothing piece I got is this super bright blood orange vintage dress. I was really obsessed with like these little flutter sleeves, but I'm not really crazy about the pockets and the hemline, so I might do something about it. I figure I got it from a free community closet, so as long as I'm taking it and keeping it out of a landfill, I feel pretty good about it. Also, this color! They just don't make colors like this anymore. It's wild. <laughs> On like the opposite color spectrum, I got a zip up hoodie, which you can't really tell details or anything on camera, it just looks like a black blob. It's by Target brand and it's one that my older sister owns and she's always bragging about how great it is and so I happened to find this one, it's not exactly in my size, it's a little bigger, but I wanted to get it just because she brags about it so much. <laughs> And my sister and I, despite not living together and only seeing each other like once a week, we always seem to wear the exact outfit. It's the wildest thing. Like, we don't look like sisters, but we dress like sisters. And it's not planned at all. Well, maybe a little bit because I just bought the same sweatshirt that she owns. <laughs> then I got another black thing. This is a black dress. Um, it has pockets. It's kind of short, but I think it could pull off as a dress, but I actually plan to wear it with leggings, so it doesn't really make a big difference to me. It's made of like that soft stretchy material, so it's like made for leggings. <laughs> so this was not the only sweater that I got this month. I actually found another sweater and it's this one and you're probably thinking that's really cute. And I actually bought it because I already have a sweater that looks similar to it. Which hot tip, if you're really overwhelmed with thrift stores because there's just so much to look at, it's really great if you can like try to find something that's similar to what you own. Maybe it's like a similar color or a similar silhouette because then you know if you buy something you might regret it less because it looks like something in your closet that you already love. Unfortunately in my case, the sweater didn't work out the way I planned. I did not use a dressing room, I just did the old standby of does it match my body. And then when I got home and tried it on, I realized that this neckline, can you see this neckline? This is ridiculously wide and it's not supposed to be off the shoulder. Like I'm fine if it's an off the shoulder top, but it's not. It's just like a really huge boat neck and I do not like bow necks. Because where are my bra straps supposed to go? I'll probably keep it in my closet until the end of spring because it is like really perfect spring colors, but then I'll donate it back. That was kind of a sad purchase, but I did find a bunch of pants and shorts. I don't know, it was like my lucky day. So actually what I did, I went shopping at Goodwill on their sale day and I decided to look at pants and shorts first so that I could go to the dressing room and try them on and then I shopped for everything else, you know, like 
shirts. I did that because the dressing rooms are super busy and also because it's easier for me to like pick up a dress or a shirt and know that it'll fit, but pants, it's harder to judge, so I feel better trying them on. So as far as the pants and shorts go, first I got these really splashy like tacky vacation print shorts. They're actually not vintage or anything. They're from Old Navy because they still have the tag on them. They were just too fun to pass up. Then another pattern bottom I got are these black plaid capris. I've had similar things in the past, you know, like either plaid pants or black capris, but for one reason or another, I kind of get bored with them and then I donate them and then I want more back. It's just a cycle with me. But hopefully I hang on to these for a little bit because this is a really great classic plaid. And the last clothing item, which is actually the last thing in this entire haul, are a pair of black and white shorts. A very splashy pattern. I'm not even sure what you'd classify this pattern as. These are Loft brand, which makes me feel so upscale. I do not shop at the Loft. I'm more of a Walmart person. <laughs> and as cool as they are, I kind of have a feeling already that I'm gonna have trouble with the pattern because if something's not like a classic stripe or a classic polka dot, I kind of don't know what to do with it. I guess you'll have to stay tuned to my blog, The Outfit Repeater, this summer to see what I do. <laughs> so this has been everything I thrifted in the month of March. Thank you guys so much for watching. Just a heads up that any links or things that I mentioned will all be down in the description box, so you don't need to ask me a million questions in the comments because likely the answer is already in the description box, including what lipstick I'm wearing. If you like the content that I create and want to keep seeing it, then be sure to support it by subscribing and following and likes and comments, donating to my Patreon page. Hopefully I will see you guys in future videos, and in the meantime, be excellent to each other.